The Mississippi River deltaic ecosystem is a dynamic environment that needs to be able to change over time in order to remain healthy. During the normal springtime floods, the river will periodically overtop its banks and spread across a larger area. Since the water is not confined to the riverbanks during these times, the river moves much slower, allowing for the sediment to be deposited. This yearly cycle helps with rebuilding land that was lost due to natural subsidence or settling that occurs. In 1927, levees were constructed to help control the cycle of springtime flooding. Unfortunately, these levees prevented the river from providing much needed sediment to the marshes along its banks. As a result of constraining the river for nearly 100 years, the river built outward instead of shifting back and forth along the delta like a loose water hose. Prior to 1973, the Fort St. Philip area of the lower Mississippi River was a low energy system where the water moved slowly and had a salinity ranging from brackish to saline. In 1973, it underwent a major change when it was reshaped by a massive flood. During this historic flood, a crevasse, or a deep cut, was made through the levee of the east bank of the river, and a portion of the river began flowing out in that new direction. Unfortunately, that fast introduction of fresh water into the brackish system caused many species of plants living in that area to die off. When these plants died and degraded, the roots were no longer able to help hold the land together, making it more susceptible to erosion. At one point, the land loss was so severe that this area had become mostly open water. However, the fresh water flowing through this area was rich in sediment, which settled out and deposited over time. Eventually, enough sediment was deposited to make the water very shallow, allowing aquatic vegetation to grow. This is what we call an emergent marsh, since it's starting to emerge from the water. Engineers helped speed up the formation of this new freshwater marsh with terraces that trap sediment so the land grows faster. How do natural and human influence changes affect the health of an ecosystem?